What's up, mother foxers? All right, man, we're gonna take a break from the dying, I guess. And we need to get the caster camera plates on this because you gotta get the wheels all together so we can put it on the ground. We can move it in and out of here. We need to do a couple of things inside the garage. So right now it's just up on little, these, the suspension's taken out and it's just up on little pieces of wood right now, hauling them up there, so. And if you know me and what I like, you know what caster camera plates I got? Steeda. That's yeah, it's a triac shifter box. <laughs> I got those too, but um yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stick these on. And funny thing was I bought these before and they sent me directions, but not these ones. So they got no you know, no other worry, they do have them on their website, so and if you look at these right here, we're going to do the inch and a quarter drop, which is this one right here. And uh, that's because we have Steeda lowering springs on her. So let me go ahead and got to do a little, little buff in here on this. This is not flat. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. But we're going to have to uh, bend these, this a little bit. Man, I wish I freaking did that before I painted these, but these are just to keep these things from uh, getting scratched up from, you know, the plates being bolted to them. So, uh, Maker's Mark makes those, which are pretty cool. So, but yeah, hopefully this, uh, hopefully it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> With, uh, doing a little bit of extended research on this and uh by that i mean just seeing some youtube videos <laughs> that's not supposed to be bent pretty sure that's supposed to be flat but we're gonna pretend like we didn't see that and just carry on so <laughs> that's like almost quarter inch steel so that confirms the fact that they launched this car and you know it bounced <laughs> <laughs> more so on this side apparently um yeah we're just gonna keep going <laughs> you know the, the 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 wheel on there was riding on there for you know quite a while didn't look like it had any kind of weird uh wear pattern or anything it was just cut from the fenders because of the bad springs that these hillbillies put on here but it's adjustable camera camera place right <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, well, this is not a how-to, just so you know. But we got this thing assembled. The problem is, you got the way we got to drop this, you know, lower it with the springs. Got to have this big-ass spacer on top, and then the nut to hold the strut on. And, well, we can't get it up in the air because there's nothing in there. <laughs> we can't get this up. So we're going to take the tire off, detach the strut, shove it up in there, put it on there, tighten her down, stick the tire back on and be done with it. We'll have to do the other side like that as well. So, yeah man, we're uh, Keystone Cops here right now. <laughs> trying to figure this out. I even jumped in there with my fat ass and, and I was jumping up and down trying to get the, yeah, and it wasn't working. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll take the tire off and just shove her up in the hole and screw her. <laughs> right up out of there, doesn't it? Oh, because it's a good strut. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna pull everything over. Now this is supposed to go on <laughs> here. The problem is we're missing 700 pounds. Yeah. So, oh, this one's wanting to go in. Yeah. That's because the strut works. Yeah. That one don't. That one's bad. It just, you pull it down, it stays down. So, we can't get the spacer on it. So we're gonna have an uneven car. 
Unless I get a better strut. Oh. <laughs> that can't happen anytime soon. Uh, everything is supposed to slide over all the way first. Got your wrench? Which side ain't moving over? Which way can it go? Uh, towards us. Yeah, it's not moving. You're stretching it? Yeah. The whole thing's gotta come toward it? Oh. The whole thing's gotta come this way. Here we go. Well, I got this. We jack it up, take the damn block off from underneath the wheel. Then we can move the wheel. So, so That's what's sitting on it. Sitting on the 4x4. Four four. Oh. <laughs> That's why I can't pull it over. The engine being. Yeah, right. I guess we can. It's just you gotta have a good strut. Yep. <laughs> So that's how this particular setup is supposed to be. It said something about the bump stops that you're gonna have to uh, cut them, but I don't even think we're, we're not the bump stops. I'm sorry, the the rubber that's on top of the boot uh, dust cover in here, and it said to cut it, but it's not being very specific. And from what I've seen online, uh, it didn't it didn't make any sense to use it. So. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell is going on with that. We, I've never put them in like this before. We've had I, the other one's got coil over, so that was pretty, a little more simple, I guess. But yeah, it's supposed to have this spacer and a couple of spaces under here to drop it because of the springs. But over there, we don't have the spacer. We thought we'd need the weight of the engine, but apparently, you just need a good strut. <laughs> and that, when you push down, it don't come back. It's bad. So, but. It's, mo it's mobile, we can move it around if we need to, so. So, there you go, guys. Like I said, not a, not a real tutorial on this. Just kind of showing you that i getting this in there so we can uh, drop the car on the ground and move it backwards a little bit here so we can, there's some other stuff we gotta, we gotta do in here, but. Um, but, uh, yeah, spacer up there, no spacer up there. And we thought it was probably just because you know, there wasn't weight in here, but apparently, if you got a good strut, <laughs> it'll do it, but that one's bad. But we're just putting it on the car, so we just make it mobile. This, we're a long way from driving this thing, so who really cares about it right now? It's gonna kind of, it's gonna sit, well, kind of like that. <laughs> so, whatever, who cares? So there you have it, man. Caster camera plates are on there. Don't they look good? Yeah, they look pretty sweet. <laughs> Steeda, why are you branding your parts? I mean, on my other car, I had to put little Steeda stickers on there so people would know I got Steeda on my car. Those are Steeda caster camera plates. I think I got some more of those. We'll go ahead and stick them on the old hooker here. <laughs> so, um, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching my silly video. Later.